Hi there. Today in our literacy lesson we're going to be doing some description. So our objective is to use descriptive language. To be successful in today's lesson we're going to see if we can first of all use adjectives to describe. We're going to see if we can understand what a noun phrase is. We're going to then see if we can use an expanded noun phrase to describe. And we're going to see if we can write a sentence containing some appropriate description. So once we come up with a descriptive language it's then putting it into a sentence. So we'll start off with this really adorable picture here of a dog and it says what adjectives could we use to describe this dog? What I'd like to do is just take a moment, pause the video and see if you can work out any adjectives you can think of that would be used to describe the dog. Have you come up with some good ideas? Hopefully you have. When I'm describing, sometimes it's good to come up with one word to describe. But on occasions, we can use more than one word to describe something. And if I'm using more than one word in a little phrase, we can call it a noun phrase, because it's the name of something, but describing it in some way. So what I've done is I've come up with four different expanded noun phrases to describe this dog. So I've said he's got a round, wet nose. I said he's got small, beady eyes. I said he's got a long, pink tongue. And I said he's got fluffy white fur. Did you come up with any of those as well? Maybe you came up with better words than even I did. What I then did was I decided that I wanted to put one of those expanded noun phrases into a sentence and then explain a little bit more about it by using a conjunction and explaining more. So here's what I did. The dog has small beady eyes, which he uses to see what's going on around him. So, not only have I used my descriptive language, but I've then put it into a sentence and I've used a conjunction to explain a little bit more. Here's one more I've done. He has a round, wet nose because, interestingly, dogs sweat through their noses. Did you know that? I had to research that myself and just found that out just now. When you've described it using your expanded noun phrases, I wonder if you can have a go at speaking a sentence out loud now. Pause the video and have a think about any descriptive sentences you can come up with with your description. Okay, now that you've had a chance to practice yourself, what I'd like you to do is I'd like to download from DB Primary a picture of a fox. Now, in this picture of the fox, I'd like you to have a think about how you would describe it and come up with some adjectives to describe the fox's appearance. Then I'd like you to try and write some sentences with conjunctions to explain why the fox may have those particular features. If you're not sure, then maybe you could try and research using the internet and then that would come up with a reason why, which you'd be able to then put into a sentence. Once you've done that, come back here and we'll do our open self-assessment. So today our objective was to use descriptive language. Presentation and effort, as usual, one, two or three ticks depending on how well you've done it. And then thinking about our next steps, the first one was to use adjectives to describe, I'm sure all of you are able to do that. The next one was to understand what a noun phrase is. Remember, it's more than one word that makes the name of something. The next one is to use an expanded noun phrase to help you describe. And if you've done all of that, hopefully you've used a range of appropriate description in your work today. If you found that a little bit tricky, keep practicing because description is really, really good in pieces of writing to make it interesting for the reader. And it's something that if you master, your writing will be absolutely brilliant. 